Hammer time! Hey everybody, it's Ariel Flair, and welcome back to Let's Play Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga. In the last episode, we fixed the plumbing of this castle after seeing how much of a wreckage it is, and after following this pathway, we hope to see the Bean Star and Queen Bean completely safe. Now what I don't understand is, why does this room connect with our throne room? That's disgusting. Aw, we're too late. It must smell terrible in here. The Bean Star! Yeah! The Bean Star and Princess Peach's voice are already mine! Once we've awakened the Bean Star and Princess Peach's voice, this world will be cackling to snack cake! Say, Mario Bro, boys, you haven't bothered to pay a visit to your host, Queen Bean! I thought you had better manners, wouldn't you agree, Queen Bean? Perhaps the three of you could sit over tea to discuss the finer points of foreign policy? Yeah! <laughs> this is another boss fight. This is Queen Bean. Now, what you're supposed to do in this battle is you actually are to weaken his left, her left and right arm. That input looks... There's a cross in the back. Now, even though it is one hand, it's less powerful, but it's a lot faster. Hmm. Oh! Got it! Now, I want you to wait to use that special thing, because I want to test something out. Okay. Stop puking up beans. Man, those teeth. I don't think you'll get to him. Okay, if you kill her the next turn, then we might have to save it for another time. I think she's close to done because she's spitting out a lot of beans. Okay, no. Alright, so I want you to slow-mo Mario's move, but aim for her crown. Oh, you can't. Just have Luigi normally attack. Or no, go on healing duty, I think. What? How much is your- how much is your- yeah, you, never mind then. Just- just attack normally. Slow down. Hit the middle one, yeah. Oh, okay, so it does work! So, yeah, I'm pretty sure I already said it on the screen, but just for you, uh, the splash attack move, Mario's special move is the advanced move that lets you hit and do double damage to anything with spiked enemies. As you can tell, the reason you couldn't normally hit that is because the crown was protecting your head. So, because of this, we gotta level up! <sighs> we're not Ben 10 anymore, we're Kevin 11. Whoa! Ooh, we got a 4 in there! And we got the 1. This is Mario Loves 1s. No, it's Luigi. Luigi got 2s! Luigi's been getting 1s this whole time. Why? Now I know you're not paying attention. I am paying attention. I'm the one that's editing the stuff. Yeah, you're gonna see. It's two. I literally leveled it up. Yeah, the last time. See? Two. And, okay, just because you did it not two, right now and two. the one before doesn't mean you have been getting ones for the whole playthrough. I did not. Oh no, okay. Let's a force Queen Bean to eat a jelly belchworm. This was what turned her into this. 
But Fair Kingdom is doomed. Doomed? How will we ever return Queen Bean to normal? What's that you say? The Mario Bros. will do something about it? <laughs> the two reactions of hell. What can you possibly mean? You speak of the impossible! Why, there is no known way to spit out an adjusted belly belch. Well, except, there is that one. That last resort. I'm sure it isn't pretty, though. She may be able to spit it up if she drank the legendary Chocola Reserve from Chuckle Huck Woods. You'll go to Chuckle Huck Woods? You'll find the Chocola Reserve? Well, if you're going to make such bold proclamations, I suppose I have no choice but to rely on you. Take the Bean Bean Brood, so head southwest from the castle towards Chateau de Chuckle Huck. If you find the Chuckola Reserve hidden deep in Chuckola Chuckle Huck Woods, our queen may yet be recovered. Are those bracelets on her arm? Yes. You got the Bean Bean Brooch! Let's go. Now, if you keep going down, as you can see, everything is completely back to normal. You can now go anywhere you want because we now have Kekled out of the castle. Well... I... No, it's okay. It's much later. Uh, you just you just get the easy way out, I guess. But if we go down, Mario, Luigi, Lady Lemon's asked that I also you'll take this along with you. You got a bean badge. This thing is a badge. If you equip it, you'll be able to you'll be a little more stronger in battle. Different badges have different effects. So for now, if you get a badge, make sure you equip it. To equip it, press and select. Press select to open your suitcase. Let's go equip badges. Select this icon. Here you can see the gear and the badge you're equipped with. Okay, Mario, time to equip the badge I just gave you. Select this icon. This is where all the badges you will have are shown. Normally you pick a badge. It's simple this time, since you only have one right now. Press A and you'll equip the badge. Now you're all set. Good luck. And be careful. Oh, uh, sorry, Luigi, but if you want your own badge, you'll have to go buy one at the store. He's a little upset. Out of push. Now, we're actually going to go clothing shopping now. Oh, uh, if you speak to that man. Oh, the man's now there. The only ones who still worry about fashion despite the town's crisis are real celebrities. I have to set prices that won't discreet this, discredit this place as a high-class boutique. So, uh, what do you want to do? Now, the interesting thing is, um, if, depending on your stash, as you can see on the top, it will change the price of the badges. So, you can actually look at the badges, so, hold up, which one's better? Okay, so that one is better. Check out if that is good on, on Luigi. Oh wow, it increases his power, but it lowers his BP. Alright, let's check regular pants. Alright, bean trousers, trendy pants pop in Hoo Hoo Village. Um, check Luigi. I mean, yeah. Can I buy it? Well, like, look up. Go up. It's like, that does only, uh, like, a certain amount, but, like, we have 104, so I'm pretty sure, like, we'll, we'll be able to get some money. See, we only have, we have 195 left. We're good. Going shopping in the mid, in the midst of a major crisis like this. You are so wonderful. So, uh, what do you want to do? Uh, leave? <laughs> I'm gonna charge you to look. Not that there's much to see. Wow! Business is business. Alright, now, as she said, if we go south... Oh, uh, there's nothing to do over there. You don't have the necessities. But this is a new enemy! This is a parabini! As you can tell, badges actually do a really, really, really great job when increasing power. No way. So can I keep this new phone? No way. Alright. 
right now if we go up here no like over there it's just a dead end this yeah so you want to go up on that little slope All right, we're almost reaching the point where Gabriel's completely blind to this game. Travel here is permitted only for select individuals in order to guard the Jacola Woods Ele Ecology. Oh, the Bean Broods, the mark of special guests of Bean Bean Castle. Very well then, we shall permit you to enter these woods. We hope you will enjoy a taste of the incredibly full-flavored Chocola Cola while you're here. I mean, soda's actually pretty good, but I wonder what this soda must taste like. Alright, now continuing downward... And we will hit the famous... What are we gonna do here? We can keep going. Chateau de Chuckluck. Hallway. Wait, keep going? Oh, I hate when that happens. Yeah, we can keep going. It's only been like 10 minutes. Brewing Chocola step one. The main ingredient of Chocola Cola is Chocola fruit, which only grows in Chuckluck Woods. Brewing Chocola Cola step two. Once placed, one, place one Chocola fruit in a barrel that's been filled with a brim with savory syrup. Brewing to Cola Cola, step three. Tell funny jokes to the fruit until it laughs, releasing soda bubbles deep within the brew. Brewing to Cola Cola, step four. Bear in mind that the quality of both the fruit and the jokes will affect the brewing process. Father of to Cola Cola, first generation Chateau owner, Bubbles. Bubbles! Oh wait, no, it's Blossom! Commander and the leader, Bubbles! She brings the joy and the laughter, Buttercup! She's the toughest fighter! Oh, this is a puzzle. Okay, you've done this before. Can you remember how to do this? What the hell? What the heck now, there is actually something all the way at the very top trying to fall into the holes. No! I know. Do you? You so said don't fall and I didn't. Where is the top? Oh no, okay, so it's not here yet. Okay, never mind. Oh, oh, plastic harmony! A famous shadow thief popple has been caught in full sight. Cripes, you think you're ready, do ya? Well, nobody's more ready than me, say ye, I'll show ya. Rookie, rookie, shake a leg! Yes, boss. Okay, rookie, it's your turn, say ye. I want you to squash those red and green trips there. Yes, boss. <laughs> Red and green. I feel like I know these two from somewhere. Weird. What? Rookie, you saying you're acquainted with these two, Pulakas? Yeah, something about them feels really familiar. It makes me feel real mad. What you babbling, yo? The two ugly monks came here for the same reason as us. You want the fabled Chocola Reserve. Boo, boo, I say. You really think you can beat me to the punch? Well, open up those ears, punks. I, Popple, Shadow Thief, Felcher of the World's Riches, bet you that I will get the Chicola result first. Rookie, go to it! Alright, now, this is another boss fight. This is Popple and Rookie. He's not referred to as Bowser in this one. Now, the thing is, if. Oh, uh, be careful. You're still on four. You're still on four. You're still on four. Yeah, I know. What you want to do is this. you want. You want to take care of Popple first. If you take care of Rookie first, Popple will immediately leave the battle and he will actually not drop the item or give you the extra experience. 
But the issue with attacking Popple first is... How dare you guys try to mess with the great Popple? And this one will only take much. I'll be taking that. Say. There All we right, go. So that's now it. he's down. Now you can focus on Bowser. Or Rookie. God dang, that's how I'm going. There you go, I got it. I'll do it again. <laughs> I'll finish him. Next one. I don't think he's gonna get down with this one. If he does, I'll be impressed. I am actually Called impressed. it! Let's go! I'm impressed. <laughs> Rocky, you bloated idiot! Who took in when you were dot when dazed and lost in the mountain? Me, a worthless vermin! I'm so ashamed. But I don't care, see? We're fine as long as we get the Chicola reserve. Let's not mess with these two knuckleheads. We'll scram and hurry on ahead. Yeah! Alright, now, what I was trying to say is, uh... Oh, no, you're fully healed after that. But if you go up, I believe... No, all the way up there. Yeah, you gotta climb... You gotta climb there. And you spin dash. Or spin jump. Spin dash? Whatever. You can climb up there. And get coins. Super syrup. And super nut. Okay, now, um, we can go on a little bit longer. Just keep going. Uh, no, not that way. Come on, something's obvious right there. Why'd well, you save? Because I always like saving. It makes me feel safe. Yeah, but there's nothing gonna happen. That's why I said just keep going. God, I hate when it does that. No, not that way. No. Oh, have we been saved, rescued? Moi, zu alors, allo, I am the monsieur de the chateau Cork, that is me. And we, I am the petite brother of Cork, my name is the cast. We are stooped, we were stooped in these barrels by two trespass bizarre characters. Are you the ones who saved us? Oh, ho, 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 to get straight to the point. Z2 will attack us after the Jacola reserves that lies deep in the woods. It was. You do so after the Jacola reserve as well. Aye. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Mm. The problem is whether or not that legendary soda even truly exists. Why, even the two of us have never seen nor drunk that famed drink, the Chocola reserve. Behind Chocola Woods is a sanctuary no one has touched. Getting Z, getting Zez is not easy. Eh, what? Qui? Vus can stomp some of the enemies? And ammo rocks and little beasts to make pass? Ah, oui? Hmm, perhaps Vus could get through the woods. But not Z moves alone. Cask, perhaps that wonderful ammo. We, Trespan, Monferi, indeed, little old ma was thinking the exact same thing. Ahem, pardon moi. I don't know if I'm doing good French, but I feel like I'm passing by. Yeah. Alright, 
I don't know. Yeah, you, there's nothing really important over here. Okay. After having the Teti, uh, Teti, the te uh, Teti with one Ferib just a moment ago, we have decided to thank Vuz for helping us and have decided to teach you new two hammer techniques. These two techniques have been perfected and refined past down here in at the chateau. If you master the very, you should help you with your bond voyage in the woods. Do you wish to try to master these ama techniques? Yeah, French people don't have H's, I believe. First, Monsieur Green, give me your ama. Hmm, oui, I see, with the amas. First, press the L button to choose your ama. Then press the B button to swing. Zit voila, that is the secret armor technique. Swing the armor eye and watch it plong down to the jolie vive vive to the woods. Anyone hit with such a technique will become micro sized. Oui, tres, tres petite. Anyone this size would feel like a mouse. You could even go into tiny holes for micro adventures. To return to normal, just swing the armor again into a suburb wag de amor. Alice, go, try it. Why is my handle brown, but his is white? Okay. Oi! Incredible! To think you would produce the jolly de vivir of the woods in the first shot? Eh? Alors, perhaps you can try to put them back to normal. Excellent! Magnifique! Vus could be a genius! <clears throat> now then, Monsieur Red, give me your armor this time. Oh, yeah, it is white. This time, press start to switch positions. Then press the L button to select your ammo. Then press the B button to swing. This this is the ultimate ammo technique. Trust be unknown. Crashing down on a gust of wind with the power of the earth. Whoever is struck by this ammo will be completely buried and hidden in the earth. Of course, is the state moving with lazy control pad is easy as possible. One feels much like a mole, while Vus can even sneak under fences up for micro adventures. To come back to above ground, just press the A button. Alice, go, try it. Ah! Born the power of the earth crashes down in a burst of wind! That was perfect! Ah, oui! Press the A button to pop up with the ground again. Fantastic! Now is the time to put the new AMA techniques to the test. Use the techniques you learned to get the two cola goblets in the room next door. The two goblets of which I speak are two of the B&B Kingdom's greatest treasures. The sparkling glass is brilliante is the perfect reward for who you who have gained the techniques. Ah, monsieurs, proceed to the goblets. I don't know why, but reading that made my head so lightheaded. Uh. And now you know what those little spots oh. mean. You got the red goblet, the goblet of fire. Its beauty sparkles in your eyes. I'm a Potter fan, the goblet of fire. Oh yeah. They reused that voice clip from um from um Luigi's Mansion. He has no neck. <laughs> yeah, he does. He just has no chin. Luigi, there you go. Mouse living room. Take care not to bump your head on the low entryway. Steel flooring. Steel flooring is so hard you cannot go through it. Mole's living room. Tunnel beneath the fences. Try not to get your clothes dirty. Emma. 
Please do not hit anything on the wall. Too All late. too late. You got the green goblet! It's brilliant it's glitters in your eyes. You got the green goblin. Ah, you got the red goblet and the green goblet. Monsieurs, you are amazing. Incredible. There is nothing left for us to teach you. You have mastered the armor techniques perfectly. Well, Monsieurs, you may enter the Chocolate Woods in search of the famous Chocola Reserve. And we will do that in the next episode. Any final comments? I wonder how crazy the special bros move are gonna be. Alright, you heard it here, folks. See you guys next time. Goodbye. Let's go.